So if you go to elemental.com, this is where now you can basically um, get Elemental Pro. I didn't, I didn't rehearse that very well, did I? Right, so elemental.com, Elemental Pro. So if you want to see the pricing for it, there are various options. If you have an agency where you're going to be creating lots of websites, you definitely want to be going for the agency. There's no question about it, okay? Or the studio, if you know how many number of clients you think you're going to get in a year or how big your agency is. If you're just doing this for yourself, $49 a year, you get all of the plugins. You get all of the plugins. You get all of the widgets, okay? So there's no limitation in what you get here. I strongly, strongly recommend you invest and do this because if you start putting a price on your website, well, I only want the free versions and I don't want to like invest and get all of this stuff, whatever. You're limiting your creativity and you're also limiting what you can do with your website and you end up going to using three or four extra add-on plugins and then at some point it's going to hurt you when there's conflict or something like that. So you hit buy now and you will have then have purchased it. Once you've purchased it, you'll have a login set up. You go to login. When, when you log in, you will then be able to see that you've got Elemental Pro and you will then click download. You download that to your downloads folder or your hard drive or wherever. If we then go back to our WordPress website, what you would then do is once you've downloaded it, the latest version, you go to add new and rather than typing Elemental Pro here, because it won't exist, you have to click Upload Plugin. You click Upload Plugin, choose File. This is where you choose the download file. It will be a zip file. Don't open the zip, just whatever is downloaded, okay? You click Choose File and you select that zip file and you install it. It takes about 10 seconds to install. Once it's installed, just like every other plugin, you have a blue button that says Activate. You click Activate. Now, when it's activated, there is still one more thing you need to do. So, if we go over to install plugins, once you've installed it, you'll have a message that pops up here. And it's going to say, connect and activate. So, we've got Elemental Free, which is activated. We've got Elemental Pro. We've purchased it. We've downloaded it. We've installed it. And we've activated it. But we get a message that says, connect and activate. And that's because it still has to make a live connection to your license. So I am going to go to Elemental Pro here and I'm just going to deactivate this for a moment. OK, and I'm now going to click activate. So you'll get an option that says connect and activate. And what you do is you just go over to it. If it's not there and you've missed it because you've come back to your WordPress a day later, go to Elemental, go to license and you will you click license and it will bring you to this page. And it says connect and activate. So I'm now going to click that and what it will do is it will either ask me to log in, which it is doing so. I will then click log in. It logs into my account. It then says, do you want to make that connection? I go activate because it is my account and that is the website name I'm using. It is now active. If you ever get the word inactive pop up, double check your Elemental Pro license. Contact Elemental Support or double check. I have never had an issue with doing this on over 60 websites, okay, since I started using Elemental Pro. So I'm very, very happy with it. Works all the time for me. Now that that is connected, we're now good to go and start building our website. 